When I graduated Princeton, I, uh, I came back to the city where I was from, where I am from. And there were a couple of things that I wasn't, that I didn't get to explore during school. I was a philosophy major, and of course I was um, very focused on the theater as well. And that was kind of my, my one thing that I got to do. But I also was interested in photography and I was interested in fashion design and I didn't get to explore any of those. My first year back I was a little bit floundering and a little bit exploring those, taking classes. And I wasn't really sure what I would do, though I had a sense it would be in the theater. One of my dear friends from Princeton, Catherine Wilson, her sister Anna was in a theater group called Project 400 and it was four actors and a husband-wife uh, writer-director team and they would make these crazy mashup pop culture shows and I would go to see them just in support of Anna who was in them and she started talking to me about this um, show they were doing it was Midsummer Night's Dream set to disco music we're not really sure what it is but you should come check out this workshop that we're doing and I went and I fell in love with it and I started producing it in my head before I thought I would be a producer I thought I think this needs a bigger space and and maybe two more dancers and this is kind of garage disco aesthetic but maybe it should be 54 disco aesthetic I started getting involved in, in the development of this piece and it became the first show that I produced. It was called The Donkey Show. It began a career in the theater that I didn't know I was necessarily going to have in this way, but I have. <laughs>